Time for Modern Motherhood with Jacksonville Mom. We've got Teresa Duncan. She's joining us with details on a free caregivers workshop. So welcome back. Nice to meet you or see you again, yes, I should say. You've been you on the show several me. times. Um, okay, so before we get into that workshop exactly, let's talk about the importance of giving back to caregivers. They work so hard. Absolutely, and I think um, Caregivers, we often, whether it's mothers or grandparents or even babysitters, we're so focused on the well-being of the child that mm -hmm. sometimes we forget how to play ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's really how, um, you know, I am an advocate for play. I'm always right. here talking about play. And that's how I want to give back to caregivers is to remind them how important play is for their kids. And yeah. it really is okay to not have the booked schedule and to and to not have every activity planned and to just take time and play. Right. And so not only good for the kid, but good for the caregiver, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So what are some tips that you have then for, to help parents kind of get that groove back? Sure. So <laughs> what I found, interestingly, as a playful person, I had never really realized that so many people really struggle to know how to play once you become a grown-up right. and you get into that, That's into a good that point. world. Yeah, like using your imaginary that, or imagination. Ma you know? Absolutely. That, that, that can be really hard. And and so then when our kids want to play with us, we, we don't find it fun yep. or it, it feels like work. And so um, some of the tips that I have are, first of all, Jordan, my favorite question to ask anybody is, what was your favorite toy growing up? Ooh, probably Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. So I think if a little kid came to you and wanted to play Barbie, it wouldn't be so hard for you, right? Right, because that was something that I already You're liked. You're already comfortable. So I, I always tell caregivers, you can time travel. Think about what Aww, you really yeah. loved, you know, and try to introduce that to the kids around you and right. it's a little bit easier it's a toy that you're comfortable with and it's a way to connect and um, I think we think that the world has changed a lot but toys are still very much the same right um, and so it is kind of imagination driven and sometimes that might have to that might be the hard part at least for me to kind of bring back that imaginary uh, por portion of playing absolutely uh, you know because we could just be so concrete in the things that we do you know we're not very abstract like kids are you know they can kind of just come up with whatever absolutely so, so it makes yeah. you more creative it helps creative. you connect better with your children right um, another thing but it is it's always that pretend play that really gets yes. grown-ups you know stumped when it comes to knowing how to play and making it feel like a chore feeling inauthentic um, but if you can think of it as a way to connect, when you play pretend with a kid, you can get deep inside their brains in a way that you normally maybe not be able to have a conversation. Oh, so yeah. if you approach it as a place of really getting to know your child or the children that you're in charge of, it can be so much more fun too, just changing the mindset around play. Right, and so they're gonna have a little workshop at Villa Villa Coola Toys? We are, yes, so um, on Wednesday, and then okay. in two weeks again on Wednesday, we're having a caregiver's workshop to help work with some of those parents that are struggling struggling yeah. or um, grandparents that are struggling to know how to play with their kids so right. we're gonna have some open conversations on play and um, for caregivers of kids of all ages to mm -hmm. be able to come it's free um, and just talk and ask their questions and incorporate more play into their lives and the lives of the children that's around wonderful them. do yeah. folks need to register I would yes we would prefer if they register and they, they get a can, head count. Um, absolutely they can visit our website for information and that's that. jacksonvillemom.com yes that's so easy right and not only can you do that there you go offer so much on that website tell everyone if they haven't seen our segments before absolutely kind of what you offer so like where they would see that workshop is a calendar of events um, of everything that's going on right now there is a great segment or a great section on Mother's Day activities Aww. and events that are going on on cool. Sunday um, there's more parenting advice about play that I've written and um, just there is a very diverse group of moms that contribute to that website so any kind of information you could want yeah. about being a parent in Jacksonville you can probably find yeah y'all are Absolutely. great because you've talked about all different types of topics. I think last time yeah. we talked about fitness myths, you know, yes. I mean, it's stuff, maybe stuff that you wouldn't necessarily think about that we're going to talk about. So that website is a great resource for parents. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank and this is so such much. important information, though, for caregivers. So Wonderful. thank you for what you do. Yeah, thank you for having me on. <laughs> of course, and happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> David.